Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just go over all the art supplies I got during quarantine. I have some stuff from Arteza. Most of it is from Amazon. And I was eyeballing this for a while. It's the Arteza gel pens. There's 23 unique colors in here and it has, it does include the classic or the vintage, I believe, and then also the bright colors set in here. Oh yes, 14 vintage gel pens and 14 bright gel pens. So I know they do sell them separately, but I love me some bright colors and as well, I love using some vintage colors for sketching and such. So we'll see how these go. They have some really unique shades in here. I love this maroon and such. Let me take these out. So y'all can see just some very beautiful shades here. I haven't got a chance to play with around these around with these yet, but I cannot wait. Especially being left-handed, I feel like I'm always looking for the perfect gel pen that doesn't stay wet too long because you know when you're writing and stuff and your hands dragging along the paper, you're sketching something out. The last thing you want is to smudge all your work or get ink all over your hands, which is something I do all the time. So I was using the Sarasa by Zebra pens. Those are my favorite gel pens so far. Next thing I got from Arteza is just something that I thought would be fun is the Arteza scratch paper. Um, I'm not sure if you guys ever played with this. I played with this a long time ago. You get 42 sheets of scratch paper in here and it's just something fun, just something to play around with. So basically what it is, it's a colorful piece of paper with black paint or pigment on it. And what you do is take the little wooden pencils they give you and you scratch away to reveal the colors underneath. So it's cool for lettering, drawing pictures, doodles. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. I just bought it, it was on super sale, so why not? Um, so it contains 20 rainbow pattern sheets, 10 gold, 10 silver, two space patterns. Ooh, I love that. Four double-sided stylus scratchers, four stencils, four postcards, and two sharpeners for stylus scratchers. So everything you need is in here and I cannot wait to get to play around with these and have some fun. Another thing from Arteza, I got the cold press dual-sided acid-free natural watercolor book. This is the five by five by five by five. I'm not too, watercolors is something that I wanna work and get better at. So I thought these small sketchbooks would be great and not too overwhelming because I tend to go for the nine by 12 sketchbooks, but I feel like such a large page to paint and cover is a little intimidating. So I thought this teeny tiny one would be great. And this does come with 88 pages. I have not used it yet, but I, you see I have a little sketch ready to go. Um, the paper is very thick. It does have a smooth side as well as a textured side, which I really appreciate because, you know, sometimes whatever your preference is, it just depends what medium I'm using, but I can't wait to get into these and start using them. And it did come with three books in the pack. This is just one of them. And the main reason I even placed an order with Arteza was for these babies. The gouache colors. I love gouache. If you're not familiar with gouache, it's a water soluble, opaque, matte paint. And I just love it. I've been wanting these forever. And the thing with Arteza, if you can see, it has a little light fastness, transparency, and pigment number. And I can't wait to play around with them. But yeah, I believe this is the biggest set that it comes in, is the 60 gouache colors. Oh, this one took forever to get to me, but it was well worth the wait. Hopefully it'll be well worth the wait, because yes, like I said, gouache is amazing. Love playing around with it. It's been a while since I've had some. I can't wait to open these and play around with them. All right, so next is all the stuff I bought from Amazon. I wanted to play around with Sharpies, but I feel like Sharpies are a little expensive for what you get. So I did find these permanent markers on Amazon and I will say they did work pretty well. I only used a few of the colors, these pants. And then I also bought a 12 pack from Amazon of the permanent marker basics in black. And these were so, so cheap. I think this pack of 12 markers was like $5, crazy cheap. And these are great for just doodling, sketching, and I know once they dry out, they're excellent for just sketching or just doing some quick studies. They are a great, great marker. I only use these for, again, that canvas piece. I only needed to use one marker and it was still very inky by the time I was done. And it was, the canvas was about 
it was an 8 by 24 canvas so I was quite impressed with how these markers came out again getting more into the paint I bought the watercolor this watercolor paint set I wanted some metallic paints and it came like look at this like I don't know if the UPS guy was just mad but this is like smashed up but the paints are okay I haven't tested these out yet so I'm not sure about opacity or how they they look on paper if it's more of a light wash but I cannot wait to get into these if you know me I like anything shiny glittery iridescent oh my god I love iridescent anything so can't wait to play around with these guys again some more paints I jumped on the bad wagon and got the gouache jelly paints and look at this packaging guys how could you not love this Ugh. it's so pretty I just love the pastel yellow and it comes with this little palette in the lid and this one is around was it $22 I don't remember but it comes with these little gouache jelly paint pans that you take out and open and I will certainly be filming a video of me playing around with these again paint is not my first choice for medium but I want to get better at it because I feel like you can color things a lot more quickly with paints than with markers I mean colored pencils used to be my jam and then they just take forever and I suffer from carpal tunnel so I thought getting into paint might be a little easier to cover a large space with color and not have to worry about parting my wrist too much so you can see there's quite a variety of colors here. Cannot wait to play with these ones. I did get some pens also from Amazon. Um, I do prefer the Copic multi-liner pens, especially for marker work, and they are waterproof, but those are also in stores. So I would, I got these Faber-Castle pens in sepia tone. I prefer a softer color versus just straight up black because I feel like it just looks better. Um, I used to be all about the black pen and the thick lines, but now I wanna go for a more softer look. So I did get this little set. It comes with four different pen nibs from brush, medium, fine, and then super fine. And these were on Amazon for about $15, I wanna say. So we get to test these out. Hopefully, I heard they had really good reviews. They're water fast. So hopefully I can use them with the watercolors and markers and stuff like that. Getting to some pencil sketches. You guys, I love all kinds of mediums. I'm all over the place. But I do enjoy doing some good pencil sketching, you know, some realistic drawing. And I bought this pack on Amazon. And I was just basically looking for some, um, some blenders, which are these. And this came with the, um, I don't want to butcher the name. The Torto, I'm not even gonna try. But they're the, the ones that are rounded up the paper. These are not my favorite. These ones I prefer a lot better because I feel like with these ones, you're able to use a sandpaper block to get a finer point and they're just much more sustainable. So these I just throw in my little, in my sketchbook bag that I throw in my purse that I take with me everywhere because they fall apart, they tear apart and it's not a big loss. These ones are much more that I keep in my actual art supply kit. It also came with a rubber eraser I haven't used yet. Um, not a huge fan of rubber erasers. I know a lot of people love them. I just have not got down with them yet. I don't think I do enough pencil drawings to really appreciate them. And then also came with this pencil extender, double-sided, which is pretty cool because um, it holds the bigger pencils as well. And I have a few of those plus the standard size. And then also comes with the sanding block. Another one I got was this Tombow eraser and this one is the 2.3 millimeter very very tiny if I do a pencil drawing that's really detailed I like this for adding highlights and such or any fine details so it's a little teeny tiny eraser I have not used this yet but Tombow is a pretty reputable brand I am happy with their other products so I'm sure this will work very well for me and some more pencils I got I love mechanical pencils versus traditional wooden pencils that you have to sharpen. So that being said, my favorite pencil to use is the just the standard 0.7 or 
but also I've really been liking these 0.2 millimeter pencils and I bought this kit on Amazon it came with all these it came in this little bag too with this little cat on there it came with all these pencil refills which you get one two three color and one two three um, graphite pencils and it also came with six pencils. I have one of them in my, my purse and my sketch bag that I just throw in there. And then I also bought the sepia tone or brown color pencil refills also. Cause like I said, I like a, a, a lighter pencil just for sketching and such. And I like the color ones too. The graphite, I'll take it. But I prefer lately a, like a brown tone for sketching. I just think it looks really nice. Last but not least, I have been looking for a pencil case forever because I'd like to organize my massive supply of pens to a more easy, organized state. I do have the pens all in their original packaging and I'm just opening all the packs and laying them a lot every time. I was like, I need to get a good, decent pencil case. I've been looking forever and none of the patterns really spoke to me, but when I saw this one, oh my God, I had to buy it right away. Guys, look at this. Look at this pencil case. Is this not the best pencil case ever? I love it. It says it holds 220 pencils and I will be putting my pens in here. I'm already looking to buy another one because I'm like, I can put all my color pencils in here. It just, ugh, I love the size and I just love this pattern. I have not seen any other pattern like this. Usually it's like flowers or leaves and this one just is so me. Just love it. It has this cool pocket on the back. You can just shove some, maybe some small sketches in there, smaller art supplies, suck them back here. On the front, same, has this little teeny pocket up here, has a little emblem pencil case, draw a colorful world. Yes, love the color, love it. So I'm gonna open this up. The zipper slides very well, the very well made. It feels, it's like a, uh, kind of a slippery fabric so I assume that it's not waterproof but water repellent if you spill something on here it'd be pretty easy to wipe off and look at this oh. so we have just different slots here and they are pretty wide they are pretty wide yeah you can fit like at least two pens in there just I guess to paint the size but also the sharpies and such have them all in one space then you have one two three of these little cardboard thingies and they both have tabs on each side and on the back very nice oh I love this pencil case it's just so pretty and I can't wait to fill it up with all my pens and then be able to flip through and find blue all my shades of blue and I'll have to worry about taking everything out very nice and this one was not that expensive I want to say $22 and it feels very nice Only thing is it was sold out, so I had to wait like two weeks for it, but it was well worth the wait. Ta-da! <laughs> That's all I have, guys. That's all I, I've bought during quarantine. Um, looking at it all, it is a lot, but you know. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I haven't bought any art supplies before that for at least gosh a year so yeah it's a lot but I haven't bought anything in a while so that's my justification I guess uh, if you guys are interested in me testing anything sooner than another or have any questions or anything I'll certainly be more than happy to answer those for you thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you like it and stick around for more art videos that will be coming out as well as stationary hauls and stuff like that have a good day. Bye.